Okay, so now we're going to start in on the uh, oscillation chapter, and uh, we're going to be dealing with a different set of problems for the most part than what the book deals with, uh, the nature of code deals with, uh, because pri uh, processing is a 2D um, environment, you just deal with uh, rotation, but where we're doing things in three dimensions, we're going to deal with orientation. So where they just have to worry about which x, y direction uh, their thing is moving. Uh, for us, we need to consider it in three dimensions. And so we're going to do that using planes. And I think this will be, um, I'll show you an example of how we're going to start thinking about doing that. OK, so what we want, uh, we want to have uh, velocity out here as well so we're going to we're going to call this one velocity and we're going to pass in two to our masses uh, we need to set it up so it passes that out Okay, let's delete this attractor really quick. Uh, so we want to pass out a velocity list out right here. Velocity the list. And so we need to put it in. And m velocity. And so we need to have an empty one out here. Okay, so let's test this and see it should work. Okay, so now we have three lists and positions, and velocity, and masses. And uh, so what we want to do is uh, we want to um, create cones that have direction. Where spheres don't have any kind of direction or orientation, we want to make uh, do some cone object. And so we're going to do that with uh, mesh. Let me try to find it here. Mesh creation. Uh, and I'm going to do mesh cone. And I have vertical faces 1 and around faces 3. Um, just so it's uh, easier. Grid snap. So let's bring that in as a mesh and delete that, delete that, delete that. Set one mesh. And uh, what we want to do is um, first we're going to have uh, a plane that will give us our orientation. So let's make that plane. And we're going to do plane from normal. And uh, the position of our plane is going to be our position. And then the normal is going to be our velocity. So it's going to be pointing. The z-axis is going to be pointing in the uh, uh, direction of our velocity. Because our velocity is just uh, little vectors. So it's going to, yeah, so basically what I just said. Okay, so now that we have uh, these planes over here, um, we're going to orient, use the orient. It's in the transform, uh, and where is it? Uh, right here, orient. So we're going to pass in some geometry out, and then we pass use two planes, and initially this is going to be the world plane, so we're just gonna leave that as the world plane. Um, because that's we have our mesh right on top of the world plane. Uh, for B, we want to pass in all the planes that we use. So now we have uh, these little movers. 
uh, and they have orientation. And so we want to also set it up so that they are um, that their size is based on the mass. So uh, we need to scale. And we're going the center of the scale is going to be the position. Uh, the geometry is going to be the the mesh that we already have orientated and then the factor is going to be our masses. So you can see that these are a bit big so we're also going to scale the mesh down here. Um, and this uh, is set up to the world so our mesh that we have um, in the center there uh, that's uh, what we want and the factor let's go 0.5 to begin with so now let's pass that geometry back into the orient and let's hide the plane and I suppose we can hide that as well and let's turn this off and turn this off uh, the movers still look a little bit large to me so let's scale it down a little bit more okay so um, this is kind of a good introduction because uh, the way that we're going to be thinking about many of the problems um, in chapter three uh, is we're going to be thinking about them in t terms of uh, orientation instead of just rotation and so we're going to be using planes a lot and then uh, uh, also we're going to need to write um, quite a few of our own functions to uh, to help us out with that but this is kind of an easy easy way in to the chapter